Welcome back to the Body Coach app. Hello and welcome to the Body Coach TV. That's me, the Body Coach, also known as Joe. Nice to meet you if it's your first time. Thanks for joining me. This workout today is going to be a 15 minute dumbbell strength and abs workout. That means you will need one pair of heavy dumbbells that's going to challenge you and we're going to do an alternating workout which is basically going to be a dumbbell exercise into an abs exercise. So dumbbell abs, dumbbell abs all the way through. There's 15 exercises and we're going to work for 40 seconds on the clock um, and then a 20 second rest in between each move. I'll demo the moves. First up is going to be a front squat. So one dumbbell in each hand. We're going to rack them up in that front rack position. Sit down nice and low, sort of into that imaginary chair. Drive up, stand up tall and repeat. Remember, nice straight back, feet flat on the ground, drive through the heels. Okay, let's go. So again, look, time under tension. It's a slow, controlled rep. So inhale, exhale, stand up, big breath in. Exhale, come up, good. Think about this, right? We're trying to get the time under tension. So long, slow strength reps. We're not just bouncing down and into it and falling out, you know, sort of dropping into it and letting gravity take long. We're not bouncing down, we're actually controlling it. Pause at that bottom, stick it for a second, drive up 10 seconds. This is really progressing the strength now because we're overloading the muscles and we're making them work hard. Last one. Ooh. So although they're not super heavy weights, I could feel that and it felt a lot heavier because again, slowing it down. First up, exercise now on the abs, down on the ground. We're going to be on our backs. One of my favourite abs exercises is the bicycle crunches. So, head off the ground, shoulders off the ground. We're going to kick and rotate, bring that elbow to meet the knee. Off we go. Again, slow these moves down. I want to really connect with your abs. Think about the muscles you're working. So, kick the knee away. So, kick the foot away and make that elbow kind of meet the knee. Good. Kick away. Slow and controlled. We've got 20 seconds on the clock. Then we'll be back on our feet for another dumbbell weighted exercise. Ooh, yeah, this is tough. Uh, ooh, 10 seconds. Crunch and twist. One more good rep on each side. Uh, that's good. Good start. Right, that's the abs open up. As again, we're hitting them every other exercise. So what I want to see now is one dumbbell in the hand. We're going to do a right. So right hand for this one, we're going to do 20 seconds on each side. So what we're going to do is we're going to squat down nice and slow. Again, come up. When we come up into that front position, we're going to do two dumbbell press. So squat down low with me. Okay, drive up and then two strict press. One, press, two, press, repeat. Squat down, good, come up and then press for two. One and two, good. Last one of those, then we're going to switch sides. So come up, good, press for one and so that's the 20 second mark, switch, straight back in, squat down low, big press up, one and two, lovely, good control, brilliant, really good, squat down, press, come on, we're building strength today, it's only a short session, but make sure you're using a weight that's going to challenge you, it's going to push you a little bit, and rest, dumbbells down, we're going back onto our back for another abs exercise, this one's going to be slightly different, we're actually going to do a single leg crunch. What I mean by that is we're going to do 20 seconds. So left foot's on the ground, right leg's away. So it's not up here, it's sort of angled away. And from there we're going to crunch up this guy. Keeping that leg fixed. And I'm trying to get my head, shoulders off the ground to come up and touch the shin or the knee. So we're going to switch at the 20 second mark. We keep crunching, keep going. We switch legs in five seconds. Go on, big squeeze. Lengthen those abs, contract, squeeze, right, change your legs, same thing. 20 seconds on that left leg. Legs nice and straight, just angle away from the body. Come on, stretch and crunch. Stretch, crunch, almost there. Three, two, one. Ah. Right, we're doing great. We're off to a fantastic start, that's four moves complete. I now want to see one dumbbell in each hand. What we're going to do now is a curl into a press. So we're going to go single arm. So it's going to be curl, press, back down. Curl, press, alternate, okay? Let's go. So hammer curl, strict shoulder press. Same again. 
So hammer curl, bicep, shoulder press above the head. Good, just a second side on. Keeping that elbow tucked in. Again, we're gonna go down on the ground for our next abs move. We're gonna be in a high plank position. So on our front, in a high plank sort of press up position. Curl, press. Come on, let's get strong today. Stick with me. Let's finish this workout together. Last few reps. Curl, press. We're targeting the biceps here and the shoulders, the deltoids. Okay, one more on each side. Last rep. Last rep. And relax. Lovely, right, put these down. Doing great. Five moves complete, 10 to go, stand quick. We're gonna go into a high plank position now. And what I wanna see, if you can, is if you, if you can't just hold the high plank, right? If you wanna hold that, it's also a challenge in itself. But if you wanna make it harder, bring your knee into the chest, pause for a second, kick out. In, and out, off we go. So really bring the knee to the chest, drive it up, kick it out. That really activates your core. So really bring the knee, like imagine you get your knee to touch your chin. <sighs> Ooh. Again, keeping those hands stacked under the shoulders. It's okay to have a little rest at the halfway point, something your wrists feel a bit sore. Shake them off, reset, go again. Knee, out, knee, out. 10, second, we're back on our feet. Come on, <sighs> come on, abs, strong abs, and rest. Oh, that was hard on the shoulders. Okay, give them a little shake. We're now going down to another lower body exercise. This time actually going to do some lower, sorry, some lunges, some reverse lunges. So dumbbells by your sides, just hang those arms down. We're going to step back, alternating the leg. So the left leg goes back, right leg goes back, off we go. Big steps, come on. Strong session, 15 minutes. Almost there now, this is number seven of 15. So try to get those shoulders back. Chest curl, just hang those arms down. Good, really work these legs now. Work the legs, step. Work the legs, step. So you're trying, if you can, to drop that back knee right towards the floor and back up. Nah. Final 10 seconds on this. Then we're gonna go back onto our back for our next abs move. Ah. One more lunge. Ah. And rest. Loving this, loving your energy. We're going to go back onto the floor. Floor. Right. Excuse my clicky knees, like cat guns popping off. So, what we're going to try and do here is a full body crunch. This is when we stretch the body out like this and we come up and we crunch, trying to touch the heels onto the floor. Stretch again. Off we go. So, full body crunch. Rest for a second and stretch and crunch. Good. Lengthen the body. And curl up into a ball. <sighs> Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, contract, shorten. Come on, stretch the body. <sighs> really good. Nearly there. Last few seconds on this one. We've got another eight seconds on the clock. Stretch, use the abs. Crunch. And relax. Oh. Oh. Ow. Okay, on our feet. We're gonna now step with the dumbbells. We're gonna have one dumbbell on each hand. What we're gonna do is a lateral lunge if you can. So what that means is stepping to start in the center of the mat, step out to the side, dumbbell touch the floor, back to the center. Dumbbell touch the floor, back to the center. Off we go, so slow it down. Touch, center. If you can't get to the floor, just a little bend wherever you can go. Okay, just feel that leg work as you step out. Center, step out, center, good. Really drive through that heel. Oh, I definitely feel that my left leg is weak with my glutes and my hips tighter. Okay, let's do one more on each side. So step out, back to the middle, last rep. Step out, and to the center. Brilliant, now down we go with those weights. Are you ready? Next exercise, it's gonna be a plank. But what we're gonna do with this plank is sort of rock left to right, so like a seesaw movement. If you can't do that, just hold the plank like this, okay? If you can, we're just gonna rock left and right, sort of seesaw in that body. Off we go. 
Again, this really works, those obliques. You don't have to get to the floor. You don't have to get as low as that. Let's get that little dip and use the abs to contract and pull yourself back up. Right into the break. Woo! It's quite tough, that. 15 seconds on the clock. Rock it left to right. We're getting back on our feet with the dumbbells. Another strength move coming up. Uh, crunch and rest. Uh, oh, I'm covered in sweat now. It's a good little session. We've done 10 minutes, five to go. Pick up the dumbbells. What I want to see now is a nice stripped shoulder press. Case the elbows out, flare them out, press and down. You might struggle with 40 seconds, I think I will too, but we'll see how we go. Let's go good, so elbows come wide, strength in the shoulders. I'm not bouncing, I'm using my legs. This is all shoulders here. Right, so these have a little rest, rest now. 20 seconds left, you can keep going, carry on. I've just bitten off with one of them, two of these. All right, let's do a few more. Come on, Joe, a few more, 10 seconds. Slow, just keep that form. Form's everything. Form is everything. Last one for me. And rest. Right, dumbbells down. Next exercise on the abs. We're gonna go down again into a high plank position. And what I wanna see now, if you can, is an up-down plank. So we start in a plank. If you can't do this, just hold this plank here, yeah? If you can, we're gonna go down, down, up, up. Okay, so really challenging the upper body as well. Let's go down. Down, up, up, down, down, up, up. There's no rotation in the spine. Try not to do rocking left to right. Okay? And if you are, if your bum's in the other legs, same thing, drop to the knees, repeat from there. You can do the same thing for our, our shoulders and chest are tight, so even this feels hard. Just keep those abs in, can you squeeze those core muscles in? Press, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Last 10 seconds. Just alternate the hand you push up with, push up with the left, push up with the right. Ah, oh, struggling. Ooh. Oh, I've got a good sweat on that's for sure. Brilliant, well listen, three more moves. Are you ready for the next exercise? Next move is gonna be dumbbells by our side. We're gonna squat down at like this. Squat down, come up, come down low, curl and repeat. So squat into a curl. Let's go, so squat down low, Come up, bicep hammer curl. So not hammer, row. Right. Bicep curl with a rotation. So rotate up, down, squat, up, up, down, squat, up. Good, let's keep this tempo. Squat, curl, repeat. 20 seconds on the clock. Last few reps, come on, strong back, strong legs, get that back nice and straight. Final rep, big curl to finish, curl and rest. Okay, dumbbells down. Final abs move on our backs. And we've got one more dumbbell move to finish. Oh. Okay, so we're laying flat. What we're trying to do here is basically toe touch. So you're going to have your legs up nice and straight. And you're going to try and tap. Obviously, it's hard to actually touch the toe, but shins, knees, it's fine. Just tap, crunch, crunch, let's go. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, Ooh. keeping those legs as straight as you can. And let's tap those ankles or those feet. Ooh. Ooh. Right, we've got a little rest. Little back, back's kicking in a little bit. Sometimes I love that when your abs get tired, but love that takes over. So just have a little rest, shake it off, that's it. And then finish, 15 seconds. Ooh. Come on. Last one on these abs. Again, extend, shorten, lengthen, and contract those abs. Make them work like any other muscle. Come on, you've got to really force them, force them to work. Right on our feet. It's the final exercise. Oh, this is a tough one to finish. It's going to hit the legs and it's going to hit the shoulders. We're going to do some dumbbell thrusters, and that means one dumbbell on each hand. And as we come up, we come up with explosive power, and we drive up. Okay, together. Let's go, so both dumbbells come down, 
Come up, press, good. Front rack, down, up, press. This is our final move, the finisher. It's gonna raise the heart rate. Doing fantastic, you've done so well to get through this workout. Come on, strong legs. Let's go, strong legs. Strong shoulders as well. Oh, my legs are burning. Legs are burning up, boy. Last 10 seconds. One more rep for me, last rep. Down, up, and rest. Yes, get in. Oh, 15 minutes complete. Loved it. Short, effective. Got every single muscle in our body working and of course had a good little workout. Thanks again for joining, I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, hit subscribe, please like, share my YouTube channel as many people as you can, let's get them active, get them moving, feeling good. And if you want more support and guidance, visit thebodycoach.com and check out my amazing Body Coach app and have a free week trial. If you love my YouTube, you will love the app. Good luck, have a great day and I'll see you soon.